Well, hello there. My name is Danny Douglas Falbaum, and I'm going to show you a new weapon. Oh, well, an old one, if you haven't ever had it before. Okay. How you doing today, Tano? Oh, that's good. That's real good. I really want to show you one of my favorite weapons. It's not in the game no more, but if you can buy it for some platinum, it's worth it. Today we're going to show you the AK Stellaris Proms. Yeah, they're real good. They are also good for hunting and barbecuing. Hey, let me show you some of these particulars. Now take a good look at this bill, because this is basically most what like uh, people that do pistols and stuff like that do anyways. Mostly go for heavy, heavy critical pathogen rounds, lethal turret, the uh, jolt, which gives you electricity, heat, prime heat, a charge for some fire damage. You need fire on that for the good barbecuing. Yeah, and in the bar fair diffusion, the harness strike, the prime pist pist pistol agreement, and the prime target cracker for good, good stuff. Now, however, don't worry. If you're poor like me sometimes, you go, you can do the regular pistol gimmick, and then also the target cracker, and it works just dandy. Just dandy. I mean, if you look at it, it's, it's slower, it's slower, but you can definitely still do the work of finding and hunting your barbecue. But in any case, and ultimately, it'd be best to get the prime versions for this weapon. Now, like I said before, you really need that fire damage, and the prime heated charge really helps you out with this particular situation because with the with the corrosive damage strips armor and then the fire adds to the slash which gives it a wonderful boost of killing power that way you're ready to go hunting this weapon is really good against armored targets however because I asked you to put fire damage on it it's also good against non armor targets like this here ranges you just pull them up and you get give them a little whopper whopper doos and they, they they pretty much barbecue for for the nice dinner see you're like right there oh, there we go anybody hungry mm -mm. just to prove my point here are some armor targets oh hello uh, uh, here, uh, without me helping them out with my powers and it just let it go these are level 160 by the way look at this here look at it there go woo wee here's a freaking oh yeah it is. There, there, there we go find the dead all right fine and this is keep on drilling wrapping and wrapping there we go done the mundo final time i'll show you these these wonderful weapons out hey so we were facing against armor targets, but what about these special armor targets? The ones that are more receptive toward different damage, radiation damage. But this has got, ow! This has got corrosive damage on it. So here, let me show you this. Let me show you. Yeah, it's, it's, it's going to take a little bit longer, but because of that fire damage and that corrosive is still stripping pretty good armor, it's going to go through this guy like, no problem, no problem. Oh, maybe it took a couple magazines. Wait, let's give some feeling up the leg here. Let's go. Let's go. And then finally, let's get, get them headshots in. Oh, look at that. Down the moon, though. Mm. See? It's so good. By the way, those were level 160s before. So you don't have to worry about anything. Most of the time. Show sure, I help you out. You know, like the idea of looking at these uh, here weapons here, these AK Stellaris Primes. You know, they, they, they pretty good. They pretty good. They, you have a lot, of, you can have a lot of, a lot of, a lot of killing time with them. Eh? So, and, uh, you know, not to mention, the only problem with these is that there's not many great things you can do except, uh, for them crowd control, because these things are main just killing machines. They don't, uh, knock people around or anything. Well, maybe a little bit here and there. It's got quite a bit of impact. But, but on the whole, these things are meant to kind of, 
kill one by one. It doesn't, uh, they ain't very really good, uh, area effect damage sort of weapons, you know? So it's just kind of like, you're gonna have to kind of overcompensate a little bit with other weapons. But for the most part, it does what it needs to. Needs to, uh, you know, he just, uh, kill stuff. You know, that, that's how it is. But this is my review. I'm, I'm Danny Douglas Balbon, and I hope that you enjoy these weapons just as much as I do. Man, we'll talk to you later, all right? We'll see you later there, buddy. It's too stupid. Crown is the best. Time of my life. <laughs> 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 <laughs>